Okay, guys, I think I finally have made friends with the foil quill. We're going to find out here in a second. This is just a test piece. I don't have it lined up correctly. I know that. But I wanted to see if I could get it to work the way everybody else has been getting it to work. So this will be done in just a moment. We'll reveal it and we'll do a full sheet all together. We'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Okay, let's make sure the camera's at the right angle. All right, so the way I've seen a lot of people using the foil quill is they're printing out these beautiful images and then they're taking the foil quill and they're outlining these images in foil. So the first thing I had to figure out was where to get these images. So we are going to thank um, Creative Fabrica because they are giving away free wreaths right now. The second thing I had to do was to make sure I had my alignment correct. And the third thing was to print it. So I knew my alignment was off, but again, the idea here was to see if the processes I had in place would work. And indeed they did. All right. So we're gonna try this together now. And if you're looking, you can see that ideally this foil would line up around the frame. So we are going to attempt number two at this, but I'm going to use regular good paper. We're gonna print everything and then foil it. So I'm gonna take you guys over to the computer. This is the not so sticky silhouette mat. I was using regular typing paper. I had to make sure I put ink in my printer. And we are going to come back to this in just a second. Let me take you over to the computer. I apologize, I do have to film with my phone to get this done. You can see the foil quill is plugged in. This is the medium tip. I have it in a um, charging box. You do not wanna charge it into the side of your silhouette. This is the Silhouette 3, Cameo 3. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you are gonna go to Do, do, do. creativefabrica.com right now they have five floor wreaths for free and if you want to join them I will put a link down below for you but all I did was download those once I downloaded them I opened all of the images and I saved them into my um, photos then I went into silhouette studio and I opened move this out of the way in fact we'll delete that my silhouette studio and here's the important part you want to make sure when you put your paper down on your mat that over here on the right side that little icon there registration marks we want that on because we're going to need those when we print this to, in order to get the foil and the image to line up i had printed mine on a different piece of paper that's why mine didn't line up which i knew was going to happen then you're going to pick your floral image and you're gonna put that on your paper. I'm actually going to copy this and see if I can do a couple of them. And here's the important thing too. See those cross hatch lines? You do not wanna cross over those. Okay, that's no man's zone there. And let me put one more. Actually, I think I'll make this one a little smaller. They're about four inches now, so I'm gonna make them a little smaller. Actually, scratch that. Let me take that one. Let me delete. Uh-oh. I want these two. I'm gonna put these back on here, okay. Okay. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna print. Now when this prints, I wanna make sure that what prints are the wreath and the registration marks. I am using a piece of, uh, this is actually Stampin' Up! Va uh, very vanilla regular card stock. I'm gonna put that in my crappy printer here. I just put new ink in there, so we should be good to go. And we're gonna hit the print function. Now, when we print, we wanna make sure that we're printing in high quality and color. Okay. 
Okay, this gives me a preview. I want to make sure everything is within the boxes there. And I'm going to change my paper to thick cardstock. Um, I guess it's really not an option. Okay, never mind. I'm just going to print it. Okay, while it's printing, it should start. Okay, we need to outline the areas we want foiled. So we're going to go back over here to the little butterfly icon. And we're going to select our trace area. When we select our trace area, we are going to outline both of the wreaths at the same time. Okay. And what we've done is selected the trace area. And see how this yellow pops up? We kind of want to outline. We don't want... Um, and then trace here. All right. So everything that is now marked red will get foiled. You can choose how much of that you want. If you don't like all of that area, um, you can go back and you can trace the outer edge. Um, you can choose how much you want to trace. This is what we use when we're doing a print and cut feature. We would trace the feature and cut it out. But I'm not cutting it out at this time. Um, what I'm doing is I want to put foil in those areas. Okay. So we're going to leave everything that's red there to be foiled. And what we want to do is now send this to the Cameo. Okay. So now we are done printing out. Oh, these are very large. Very large, beautiful, colorful um, wreaths. Can you see that? Very nice. Okay. So the computer is trying to load the what it thinks it's going to cut in terms of area. So everything in red there is going to be cut. Now, if you don't like that, we can always go back and change it. So actually, I am going to go back and change it because I think that's too much red. So let me select my trace area again. Let me go back here. And I just want to do an outline. And you can choose if you want more or less of it. There's a whole bunch of things you can do here. Um, so let me put this now, goes back on our sticky mat. Okay, and the square usually goes in the top left corner. Trying to do this one-handed. Okay, so now we have our, let me put you guys down a second. So now we have our mat with my hair stuck in there. Okay. So now we have our mat in the corner with our registration marks. I have some of the foil quill foil that originally came with my foil quill. So this is like the rose gold color. You should be able to use any kind of hot foil foil. So Gemini foil, foil quill foil, Toto foil, Spellbinders foil, anything that is hot foil. This will not work with toner foil or mink foil. Okay, we're going to use some of our washi tape. Now, um, because my silhouette is the Cameo 2, the magnetic mat does not fit on there, so I cannot use the magnetic mat. So um, I have to tape this down. Now, we'll warn you again, you cannot cover the areas with the registration marks. So on that corner and this corner down here, I'm just going to cut the foil off. So those registration marks cannot be obstructed. The machine needs to be able to read those marks. So be very careful when you're putting your tape in place, when you're putting your foil in place, do not obstruct those registration marks. That's how it is supposed to be able to read and line up. Now, I'll be honest, I have not calibrated my machine in a very long time. This probably will still come out misaligned, but you guys are going to get the basic idea. There is a feature you can go in there and calibrate your machine. Okay. Whoops. Left you guys on the mount there. Okay, so now we're going to load this back in one-handed. Okay, so it's printed. We have our registration marks showing. We have our foil quill heated up. That is the medium tip if I didn't mention that before. All right, so 
I'm gonna zoom in here to see what's in red to see if I'm okay with that. Okay, great. So what it's gonna do is it's going to outline some of my flowers. Perfect, that's what I want. They're gonna get some rose gold color to them. Now I'm going to hit send. And what you wanna make sure is a couple of things, that all of your settings are on sketch. So I have it online. Cardstock is fine, sketch, sketch, force down, speed down. Yesterday when I made the cards, I had the force and the speed too high. It didn't work. So make sure you have everything on sketch. Make sure it's force, force. Make sure what you want to get foiled is in red, okay? Leave your registration marks up. Now we're gonna hit send. So instead of cutting now, what it's going to do is it's gonna take the foil quill and it's gonna outline those areas in red. It's going to read my registration marks. If there's anything obstructing the registration marks, if I don't have good lighting, the registration marks will not be red. It's not going to, to foil in the correct places. So now it's gonna take a few minutes while it does its thing. Great, so. I'm not going to have you guys watch this whole thing because this is my biggest qualm with it is it does take a little while to go through and foil everything. So I'm going to pause the video here and we will all come back together for the unveiling. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, it's been about, um, I don't know, almost 10 minutes. We're still going here, but it looks like we are almost at the end, so... For you guys, it'll just be a few seconds, hopefully. I mean, it's really going into some detail here. Now we just have to cross our fingers that it's lined up correctly with the image because that's really gonna suck if it's not and it's my own fault. Oh, I think we're done. I think we're done. Let's unload. Okay. Da, 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 da. Here, oopsie, try not to drop you. Stay okay. Now, the other thing you can do, if you really want to get good at this. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just got a sneak peek. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Ew. Okay. That is amazing. That is so gorgeous. That worked out perfectly. Look at that. So not only do we have these pretty printed image of these wreaths, and they're very nicely colored, they have foil on them. All right. So the other thing we can do, if we dare to be bold, is we can put this back on the cutting mat. Okay. We can trace just the outline and the inside and have it actually cut out with the Cameo. And then it will be like precise. I'll be honest with you, I don't wanna take the chance cause it's so pretty that I'm just going to cut them in the squares and make them square cards. And then I can stamp a sentiment on the inside. But I am so excited that this works. See, practice pays off. Look at that. So cool. Okay, so that is the thrill behind the foil quill. I will link for you guys the Creative Fabrica website um, where you can download those wreaths for free. They did give us a discount code if you want to join their monthly subscription. If you use the code Nancy Stamps, it's normally, I believe, $29 a month. You get it for $19 a month, but I will link all of the information down below for you. I'll also link um, the foil quill, which I think I found on Amazon for 40 some dollars, which is a steal. Um, 
and a starter pack of the foil if you want to try it out for yourself. It will work with the Brother Scan and Cut. It'll work with the Cameo Silhouette. It will work with the Cricut Machine. So any of those electronic die cutting machines, it will work with. But I want you to give it a go. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, click the little bubble and the wiggly bell and you can click get notifications when I post a new video. Thanks for watching, guys. And keep on foiling. Bye-bye.